Volvo has long been playing catch up in the luxury SUV class for quite some time now. The first generation XC90 which was introduced in 2003 was a mild success from the start but as usual if an automaker keeps it designed for too long competitors will eventually run circles around it in terms of sales. And this is what happened to the XC90. For 2016 the XC90 gets a long overdue redesign as this marks a huge year for Volvo as they are trying to now gain more market share here in the states. So let's go ahead and check out this 2016 Volvo XC90 and see if it competes well in the luxury SUV class. Now essentially the XC90 is the top of the line sport utility vehicle in Volvo's lineup. It's also one of the most expensive vehicles in Volvo's lineup as well. As far as the new look goes, it's very sharp in its styling, yet being very elegant too. I really love the styling of the new XC90 here. It's just a very stylish and elegant, classy looking SUV here. Certainly one of the best looking luxury SUVs. You have these LED headlights as well as these LED daytime running lights which also are LED turn signals too. And overall, they got rid of that boxy Volvo look that they used to have on the old XC90. Now here goes the key fob for the vehicle. It's pretty simple looking overall, but it's fairly stylish and high quality looking. You do have your lock on the side right here, and then your unlock, and then your power tailgate too. Now essentially our XC90 we have here is the T6 with all-wheel drive and it's the base model which is the Momentum. However, it comes loaded with many standard features. There's really nothing basic about this XC90 here. Now also we have the Momentum Plus package as well as the Vision package too. And I really do love these 20 inch 5 double spoke wheels we do have here. They have a really good and unique looking design to them. And then also it comes in this beige exterior color and I'm usually not a big fan of beige but this is actually probably the best looking beige I've seen on a vehicle. Now you do have smart key access on all four doors here. The mirrors will tilt in when you lock the vehicle. It also does come with a full on black leather interior. Power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar too. Now stepping on inside of the XC90 here, the step in height is pretty good. It's fairly low. You're greeted with a very high quality looking cabin design. It's a very rich looking interior. Now what's also pretty neat about this interior here is that Volvo used diamond cut materials to wrap around the start stop dial which is pretty neat and they also used it around the volume knob too. Just shows the quality of Volvos nowadays. Now to start the vehicle just twist the dial to the right and then put your foot on the brake. Easy as that. Nice little welcoming chime right there. And then what you're hearing is a 2 liter supercharged and turbocharged 4 cylinder. Pretty interesting there. Now you do have a leather wrapped steering wheel and then you also do have this wood inlay part which is optional. Overall the steering wheel rim is actually pretty thin. Coming to your transmission you have an 8 speed automatic transmission. We also do have manual shiftability. No paddle shifters here though. And then putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines. And then you also do have trajectory as well. We also do have a 360 degree view camera as well as rear cross traffic alert and parking sensors. Pretty nice, you can view many different angles here with the 360 degree view. And 
and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights, make sure they're on, as well as the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the XC90, and I'm going to go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. LED headlights, low and high beam with LED turn signal indicators. And you also do have LED fog lights too. And front parking sensors as well. Very stylish. Love the new look. Now under the hood here we have an engine with a pretty small displacement powering this pretty large SUV of 2 liters. However, it is supercharged as well as turbocharged and it is a 4 cylinder. It also produces very good fuel efficiency numbers of 20 in the city and 25 on the highway and it is all wheel drive. It produces 316 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque at 4500 RPM. There's also a plug-in hybrid variant available for the XC90. And overall, this powertrain is very efficient and provides ample amounts of power here. Now, as far as competitors go of the XC90, you have the vehicles in the mid-size luxury SUV class. This includes the likes of the Acura MDX, BMW X5, Audi Q7, the Mercedes ML. Pricing of the vehicle starts at the T6 Momentum which starts at $48,900. Not too bad of a price. And our particular one we have here costs around $55,000. The T6R design starts at $52,900. And then the T6 Inscription starts at $54,500. You also do have roof rails on the top right there. Coming to the rear, you have LED tail lights with LED turn signals, LED third brake light, rear window wiper with a rear window defroster, rear reflectors, and a shark fin antenna. As well as rear parking sensors and dual exhaust tips. Very Volvo traditional styling cues in the rear with the vertical style tail lights. Of course you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, and then your power door locks, memory seat settings for three people. The buttons have an extremely high quality feel to them. Nice soft touch armrest of course. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Very nice. The doors close with a very nice solid thunk. Now as far as build quality and materials go, inside of the XC90 here, it's certainly on top of its game and it competes very well in terms of this. 
especially with its German competitors and Japanese competitors in terms of build quality and materials. You have nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and the armrest. Up here, however, it's a slightly padded material, but the plastics and the graining of them are very high quality. They don't feel cheap at all. Everything feels very sturdy in here too. And then you also do have this decent padded material too with this nice molded stitching. Overall this is a very rich feeling interior. It's very opulent inside of here. Very lavish as well. And it certainly won't disappoint in terms of that. Now coming to the steering wheel design of the XC90. It's very good looking, very high quality, very stylish too. Can't complain about the steering wheel design. And it's their freshest design of their steering wheels too. We also do have steering wheel mounted audio controls of course, your voice recognition, and then this button right here controls your TFT instrument cluster. We also do have your cruise control right there. And then it also does manually tilt and telescope. Of course you do have the option of power tilt and telescoping. There's a really good range of adjustment on the telescoping. Can't complain on the range of adjustment. Down here we also do have a little storage cubby right there. And then I also do love this wood grain trim. It's very luxurious. Looks very rich. And then you also do have your cup holders as well as a 12 volt power outlet right there. And then also, your center console will reveal your USB port as well as your auxiliary input. And there's a decent amount of storage back in the center console here. The center console lid is slightly padded, but it's a little firm. But you do have this nice high quality molded stitching. Now coming up here, we also do have an auto dimming rear view mirror, roadside assistance, SOS safety connect. We also do have the Volvo on call as well panoramic sunroof and then you also do have a powered sliding shade and then coming up here we also do have your interior illumination lighting which are LEDs headliner is also very high quality Now, many people know that Volvo is a huge player in the automotive world when it comes to safety, and the XC90 certainly does not disappoint in terms of that. We have many safety technologies, such as City Safety Collision Avoidance System, Pedestrian and Cyclist Detection and Avoidance, as well as Lane Departure Warning and Roadside Information. Now, also, since we do have the Vision Package, it does come with Blind Spot Detection as well which Volvo was one of the first auto manufacturers to have the blind spot detection system. Now as far as visibility goes inside of the XC90 it's actually pretty good. No sloping roof lines back here and then also when you look into the rear it's not that bad either. There's actually lots of glass area all around wherever you go. And then also outward visibility is pretty good too. Now, as far as the seating comfort goes in the XC90, the seats are very comfortable, and we don't have the uh, optional Napa leather seats here. We just have the standard leather seats. And these seats are very comfortable. There's a decent amount of support. Thigh support is also excellent too. Can't complain. I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip. The headrests are very plush too. Also, what's pretty neat is that since Volvo wanted to make sure that this wasn't a German or Japanese luxury SUV, they put this little Sweden symbol right here of the flag on the seat. <laughs> I found that to be pretty funny. Now coming to the new infotainment and multimedia system here, we have Volvo's new Census system and it essentially comes with this 9 inch touchscreen and it's very tablet like in its functions and mechanisms and it feels very natural to operate this touchscreen here especially in a day and age with all of these smartphones and tablets it just feels very natural when you're operating this now coming down here when you click on this button right here it's what a tablet will do it goes straight to its home screen and then coming to your home screen you have your navigation and then your 
media as well as your phone and then your messages too. We also do have Apple's new CarPlay. This is one of the first vehicles to have that. When you go over here, coming up to applications, this is basically all of your different media sources. Basically you have AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, your radio favorites, Bluetooth streaming audio as well as your USB port, and then your iPod integration as well as your auxiliary input. Coming to messages, you have your SMS text messaging, which will display right here when you have your Bluetooth phone connected, which is pretty nice. And then coming to car status, basically it displays your vehicle status, any warning messages, and then it also gives you your oil level, and then it shows you your tire pressure monitoring too, which is pretty nice. The rendering and the graphics of this infotainment system is also crisp and clear. Very great in terms of that. And then when you come to your different media, this is where you can select your different media or your different radio stations too. Or you can manually tune it and then set some presets as well. Coming to the navigation system, also what's pretty nice is that you could swipe on the nav, which I've been begging for a long time in many auto, ma auto manufacturers. And it's just very natural feeling. As you can see, the rendering is not the best. They'll probably have to update this system a little bit to get it working a little bit better. But we also do have live traffic and live weather on this bad boy too. The rendering is a little slow, but the graphics are pretty clear and easy to read overall. Let's get back to the home screen. Then coming to your phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have all your contacts on there, have an integrated, integrated dial pad. And then when you come to your climate, this is pretty easy to do. You have your fan speeds right here, your different zones, and then automatic climate control. We also do have four zone automatic climate control, which is pretty nice. And then here's how you set your temperatures too. Overall, this system will certainly take a little bit of time to get used to. It's certainly not the most simple interface here, but it's just a very natural feeling kind of interface since it's pretty much like a tablet. You also do have your heated seats right here. Sponsiveness is just very great on this touchscreen. And then coming right here, we also do have your vehicle functions, like your sport mode, as well as your lane departure alert, if you want to turn that on or off. And then your park assist, your cross traffic alert, auto start stop system, so when the vehicle comes to a complete stop, the engine will actually shut off to save fuel. It's another reason why this vehicle has such high fuel economy numbers. And then if you want to turn on and off your blind spot detection, and then any camera settings, and then you can fold down the headrest when you're putting the vehicle into reverse too. And right here we also do have your fog lights with the corner illumination. Your wiper service position, active bending lights, and road sign information if you want all that on. Overall, I really do love this new infotainment multimedia system here. I think it will take a little bit of time to get used to, but it just feels like a very natural feeling kind of tablet-like kind of interface here, and it's certainly very innovative. And then coming right here, we also do have, of course, your play and pause button, and then your volume knob, and then your seek and track buttons right there, and then your front window defroster and rear window defroster, and then right here is to open your glove box, which is pretty nice. Now let's get to the TFT instrument cluster here. Very great rendering and graphics on this of course. We also do have your speedometer which is right there and then your RPM gauge as well and then your road sign information is actually right there. And then you also do have a digital speedometer in the middle 
right there. And then you have your exterior temperature readout up there as well as your digital clock and then your lane departure alert system. And then we also do have your trip odometer and then your fuel range too. And then your fuel gauge and then what gear you're in. And then to control some of the functions on this instrument cluster you have to go to this button right here and basically you can control the trip information and then your media you can change the different media source from here and then your phone and then navigation too pretty nice but overall really do love this TFT instrument cluster here now as far as driving the XC90 goes it's pretty enjoyable to drive overall the steering feels decently responsive and offers a decent amount of feedback to the driver here and is not numb feeling that much and then also the ride quality is pretty good it's very comfortable it soaks up road imperfections pretty well and then power from the powertrain the 2 liter supercharged and turbocharged 4 cylinder here is actually pretty good you will find that there is a decent amount of passing power and it doesn't feel anemic at all despite the small displacement Overall, the driving dynamics of the XC90 is certainly very competitive and it offers a decent balance between good ride quality and pretty good handling as well. Now we also do have your different driver selectable modes. Now when you press down on this right here, you can toggle between your eco mode, your comfort mode, and then also an off-road mode and then dynamic. Eco certainly of course is the most fuel efficient setting. Comfort is just for everyday normal use. And then off-road is if you're going over a rough terrain. But however, this is not a true 4x4 vehicle here. Don't expect this to be like a Jeep Wrangler or anything like that. However, you also do have your dynamic high performance uh, mode right here. Which changes the throttle response and the sound of the exhaust. And tightens up the steering too, which is pretty nice. You also do have your electronic parking brake right here, as well as your automatic start-stop system. Alright, and I'm going to shut down the XC90. Twist it to the left like that. And I'm going to go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Now back here you will find a decent amount of cargo space. And it's fairly easy to fold the rear seats down by doing just this little simple mechanism. And then we also do have LED lighting back here, and then a little storage cubby right there, as well as right there, too. But overall, cargo capacity is pretty good. And then you also do have a power tailgate, as well as an hands-free tailgate, which you just wave your foot underneath the vehicle like this, and the tailgate will automatically close. Now as far as build quality and materials go back here, very high quality of course, what you would expect out of a luxury SUV. Now to get into the third row, it is fairly easy. Just pull this up and then slide the seat forward and then just hop right in. And then if you want to fold the seat down, just pull up this lever and then push the seat back right down. Now sitting back here, it's actually fairly comfortable. I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip. The seats are very, very comfortable, especially for second row seats. There's a decent amount of thigh support and they're decently plush as well. We also do have dual map pockets and then dual zone climate control for the rear passengers. And then you also do have a 12 volt power outlet down there and then your rear air vents. Like I said, this vehicle does come equipped with four zone automatic climate control. We also do have your cup holders right here, and then a rear armrest. And the seats back here also do recline, of course, and they do slide forward and aft for greater comfort. At the driving position to where mine would be at, I'm about six foot. There's a decent amount of leg room to spare. Headroom, there's plentiful amounts of it can't complain about headroom at all but overall it's fairly comfortable back here 
Now sitting back here is a different story however and this is certainly also only supposed to be for small children. I don't recommend full-sized adults sitting back here. But what's pretty interesting is that you do have a little spider right there as well as a storage cubby and a cup holder too. And then you also do have LED interior lights back here. Little, a lot of little interesting features especially running from the little spider on the side right there to the flag on the seats. All right. Full powered passenger seat with power recline as well as power lumbar. Now to open the glove box like I said you have to press on this button right here. And then it's very high quality line with felt and very damp. So the 2016 Volvo XC90 is a great mid-size luxury SUV and is certainly a fine choice in the class. With its very classy and elegant style, its very innovative 2 liter supercharged and turbocharged 4 cylinder, and its very lavish and opulent interior and many high-tech safety features. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.